In this video, we are going to compare different lists, different data sets, and see what are the similarities and the differences between those files. And this solution is very versatile because we can use only one single criteria or column to compare the lists, or we can use more. We can use two, three, four, five, and so forth, different criteria to compare the different lists. First of all, you need to open all the files that you want to compare. Here I have two different Excel files. However, if you have more than two, three, four, five, and so forth, doesn't matter because it works. Okay, the methodology is going to work. So let me select both and then hit enter. Now that I opened the two different Excel files that I'm going to use, I need to append those files together. And if you have three, four, or more files, you can do exactly the same. So let me take here February, click hold and drag, and that way I can see that other file underneath and uh, here let me bring it up a little bit okay now we can see the two different sheets the first one january and the second one right here that is february i need to take the february click hold and drag and drop just to the side of february and that way we can append those two files together so click hold and drag and drop right here okay now we coupled those two different files let's now understand what I have as the data set, but uh, you can have different data because it's going to work. I have basically a sales report with the order ID, the date, the product name, the brand, and a lot of other stuffs, and then the customer name and the estate. And the thing that I need to do here is I need to make sure the orders that I have in January only stay in January. Those orders cannot be repeated to February and vice versa. So I need to basically count how many times a order in January appears in February and vice versa to know if this order is being repeated. However, I cannot use here to determine whether or not something is being repeated, only the order ID. I, I need to use more information such as the order ID, the product, maybe the customer name and the estate. Now with those four different criteria, I can make sure it's not being repeated. Uh, but why should I use four different criteria? Because take a look here. In this first order, we can notice that uh, the number is the same. So maybe it's being repeated or it's the same order. But it doesn't mean that I need to get rid of one row uh, because they both have different information. Look here, the order ID is the same. And even though the customer and the estate is the same, the quantity and also the product is different. So yeah, it's correct. It indicates to me that the same customer bought two different products for the same order ID. But anyway, how can I use different criteria to compare the lists? Let me use here a helper column. It can be any blank column to the right of my data set. Let's stick with the column M. And uh, here maybe I can uh, type in helper, helper column, enter. And also let me click to select this entire column and highlight with a different color just to differentiate to the rest. Uh, let me increase the width, okay? And in this helper column right here, what I need to do is equal sign and then append all the criteria together. Let's say equal sign, the first criteria that I can have is the order ID. The second one is going to be the product. However, to couple together, we need to use the upper send sign, upper send, okay? Now I can select the second criteria and then upper send, the third one, upper send, the fourth one, and so forth. Let me hit enter. And this is the result of everything appended together. If you click in the, at the bottom right corner of the cell, double click actually, one, two, you can copy this formula down. And we basically done. We can do the same process to the February. But I don't want to do it all over again. So what I can do to save a lot of time is I can click in the column M to select the entire column and then right click and go to copy. Okay, now I can go back to go to February and in the column M, right click and then paste, copy and paste. Just let's make sure that it's correct. One, two in the first cell and uh, it's using the order ID, the product, the customer and the state. Yeah, it's perfectly working. Now we can go back to January or to the first file that we have. And in the column M, we can count, we can count 
how many times how many times does um, the criteria or the row appear in the second file or in this case in the February uh, okay let me increase the, this width of this column okay and to count uh, before we count let me change the color of this column just to differentiate to the, the rest maybe we can use a blue color and okay equal sign equal sign to count how many times a, a specific criteria or a, a specific test appear in a list we can use the count function with a if a statement so count if count if double click one two the range that i want to use to check whether or not the first criteria appear uh, i can use here in the february and select uh, the helper this is the range that we need to use okay so m and then trauma now the criteria is back here in the february at the first cell this one right here the first criteria and then i can hit enter the result that I have is zero because it indicates that this specific criteria or all those four different cells are not equal to anything that we have in the February list. Let's double click here in the formula one, two. What basically the count if is doing is, first of all, the list, the list that we have in February. Okay, so February list. And then the criteria is this one right here. So it's counting how many times this criteria appears anywhere in the list. So because we have zero, it indicates that this criteria does not appear in the list. But let me double click in the cell, one, two, okay. Zero, 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 oh, here we have a different result, one. Uh, but why is that? One indicates that both of those criteria right here appears in the February one time. One time this one, and one time the second one. Uh, here we have a different result, then zero and one, that is two. It indicates that this, criteria right here appears two times in the February and maybe it's wrong right because how can a the same order with the same number the same product the same quantity appears more than just one time maybe it's wrong right so okay and with this method we can see what is being repeated and what is not what is unique and what is being uh, duplicated let's say we can do the same thing in the February and count how many times those criteria that we have now in February appears in the January. So let me use the column M. And here I want to count everything that I have in February that is equal to January. Equal sign, count if, double click, one, two. The range is the January range. This one, the helper column. Comma, the criteria is going to be the coupled values that we have and then enter. Okay, the first one is zero, but let me add the bottom right corner of the cell, one, two. Uh, here we have one, one, okay. Here we have another ones and uh, maybe some number twos. Okay, now we're done. So this is how we can compare the lists. And if you want to, to check for the rows that are being repeated and uh, for the rows that are not being repeated, let me go back to January, but of course, you can apply the same method for any other file that you have. And uh, the thing that we're gonna do is we can use the filter tool. So let me click within the data set and then I can go to data and filter. Now, as we can notice, there is this little box within each one of the headers. But let me go to the count, click, and then I can select nothing but the number one and two, for example, and then okay. And then you can decide what you need to do. If you need to select all those rows, right click, and then delete rows to get rid of these repetitive values. Or let me undo this action. You can do different things. You can maybe select those rows and you can highlight with a different color, maybe yellow and so forth. Let me get rid of the filters now. Click here and then clear filters. That way it's much easier to see what are the values that are being repeated. And you can also do something similar, however, to only check for the values that are not being repeated. So you can select here zero okay and maybe you can select everything here that is of course equal to zero cut and paste to a new sheet let's say let me add here a new sheet this one is going to be january uh new okay i can take those values right here i can select everything without the calculations i think it's not important now okay i can right click cut 
go back to general revenue right click and then i can paste and the uh, thing that is inter interest is that repeated values are not going to appear in this new ship okay and this is how we can do it to check the similarities the differences the values that are being repeated how many times they are being repeated and so forth so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos let me know comment down below because every single day has a new video i see you there